Hello and welcome once again to the Land Rover Toolbox videos. We're going to have a little look at the primary circuit on a vehicle and using a multimeter to trace the power. Okay, the first sensible thing to do is actually start with the batteries. I have my multimeter set on 20 volts DC, which is for a 12 volt system. Okay, you always have an earth and a live. And if you shake your leads about, sometimes you'll see something called ghost voltage. Right, so I can connect these two up and check the voltage at these battery terminals. And you see that I'm getting 12.3 and the other one I'll also get something like 12.3. There's a bad earth on this somewhere which I'll have to rectify. The vehicle has been standing up and things need cleaning. But we're going to have a look at voltage drop, but this isn't the main aim of this tutorial. On this vehicle, it has fuses to protect the battery cables and each battery has a fuse to it or each cable has a fuse, 100 amp in this case. And I'm checking the voltage on this one, which is 12.64. Easy, no drop there. This is the reading for one battery. So I know one battery is at 12.63, 12.64 volts. I've specifically chosen this LDV for wiring because this is very complex. It has a lot of extra auxiliary wiring in it, more than what you'll find in any vehicle. You can see the trunking here. All these are battery cables. Originally there were three batteries fitted via a battery maintenance system and they all have earth returns. There are safety fuses all over this vehicle on each of the cables, 150 amp fuse and I need to check on each of the terminals to see if there's a voltage drop. 12.67 and on the other end it should come up the same reading 12.67 so that's all right the terminal is okay there's no voltage drop there at all which is good it, the terminals are not loose corroded or the fuse isn't blown. Testing any electrics on a vehicle you need to make sure you have a good earth and your multimeter is connected this you can see the earth is not very good I'm not getting a good reading what we'll look at today is a primary circuit one permanent live feed will go to the ignition switch this is not to be confused with different circuits that get energized at different times okay so presuming you don't have an isolator or the isolator switched on and the keys are out of the ignition you should be able to check which fuses are on your primary circuit and have power to them all the time. With the keys out of the ignition and I've got my multimeter set on 20 volts, DC volts, I'm going to check that there is voltage here on a primary circuit. There is no voltage here or there shouldn't be any voltage and all the rest of the connectors will not have a voltage. Now this one possibly has an earth leak somewhere as it seems to have turned up in the system. Okay, this one's the starter and that one is an auxiliary as well and there's no voltage there. This feed here is one of the feeds that will come off the battery either via a fuse box or a fuse link where this one doesn't. Checking in the back of the fuse box here you have some white wires and you also have your brown. Now in this instance this heavy brown wire is for the air suspension on this vehicle and confirming a 25 amp fuse which I can check with my multimeter it gives me 12.67 12.68 volts and it works by checking it on both sides so the fuse is good okay this here is on the primary circuit and you can see the box has been chopped about a little bit and this would have been done in the factory because this fuse is not required. You'll also see one of those terrible scotch locks hiding away there from a bad repair. Anyway, the permanent live also goes to some relays. We can see this here. You have a starter relay, which is this one. Okay, that's fed by permanent live and also this one which is one of your headlights. Your headlights work without your ignition switch in. That is brown fed, so it's primary fed. This brown with a blue tracer goes to the starter motor, so this is a starter relay. I'll just show you with the keys out of the ignition that it actually has voltage here and it's about 12.55. White with the red tracer comes from the ignition switch and it shouldn't have any voltage there. Okay, so looking at this, no voltage. If I turn the key on, there you go. It's putting voltage down the line. 
12.56, okay. This is the trigger feed which makes the relay contact and send power down to the starter motor. What I'll do first of all is actually take the relay out so we don't start the vehicle and putting the multimeter into the plug red and white what I can see if I turn the key I should have voltage there turning key now and we should have voltage should we have voltage yep we have voltage 12.55 so that's correct this way you can tell if there's a break within the wiring between the starter ignition switch and the relay Generally, you want to use a circuit tester rather than a multimeter, and in the next tutorial, I'll show you why. Okay, on this specific vehicle, it's hardwired for a lot of auxiliaries, but it also controls the main vehicle wiring loom. However, the brown here is for earth, and red stays constant because it's power from the battery. And then I also have a connector here which has a white wire into it. Not that I can get a reading off it at this point in time, however this is 12.69 volts direct from battery and this is 12.596 whatever, 12.65 okay now the other circuits are also energized because this relay has been energized giving me power to the rest of the vehicle via the board and there's our white wire there okay gets complicated as long as you understand about vehicle wiring then you can get around these things but it's something to consider because you could have an immobilizer in a vehicle that is cutting the power to your starter these fuses are all vehicle related and these are a backup system originally it would have cut out if there was a problem with charging the other thing to consider of course is especially with starters is that we have our relay plug here and you'll notice that there is a brown with a yellow tracer and there's no black wire in there if you look here the wire has been cut and it's been bodged in this is because it was a V8 and it would have had a park relay sensor to stop you starting if the vehicle wasn't in park so if that makes sense what happens is if you do not have a black wire on the other side of your switching that means there is another relay in line somewhere